Hello everyone, in this video I wanted to go over how to off tank VK8 hard mode but also be going over some of the main tank stuff too. In our first pack we have a bulwark on our right and our raider on the left. If your main tank is comfortable enough to grab both elites then you will be chaining the small stuff, if not you can grab the bulwark. Also this video took me a lot of time to make so if you do enjoy it or find it helpful be sure to leave a like and subscribe and let me know if you want more guides like this. In the second pack, there is a Bulwark on the right and Tiebreaker and Raider on the left. Again, if your main tank is comfortable enough to grab the big ones, you can just chain. If not, you can grab the Bulwark. A lot of these ad packs can be divided between you and your main tank. It doesn't really matter which ones you grab. I also made the arrows with different colors to make this easier to see which ad is what. For the third pack, there's two raiders, one on the left, one on the right, and they're in green. There's also a tiebreaker behind the house. You can grab either the raiders or the tiebreaker, or you can grab them all, or you may take and grab them all while you chain. In this run, the main tank was really comfortable in doing so, therefore I just helped them chain for the most part. Going to the 4th pack, there's 2 raiders, taunt them or chain the other stuff in. For the 5th one, there are 2 bulwarks and 1 tiebreaker far left on the cliff. Main tank will grab the bulwark on the left and the tiebreaker while you get the other one on the right. If you want it to take some damage, you can keep it near the mage, but make sure to start to pull it away because it will do its ability soon, making everything in that radius immune to all damage. For Yandir, if your main tank is experienced enough to take both the Sea Adder and the boss, you can guard them if they need, or you can stand there looking pretty keeping up your buffs like PA and D buffs. You can also Vamp Drain if you have it. If they don't want to hold everything, you'll be tanking the Sea Adder next to the boss then. After Yandir, there's two tiebreakers, one on the left, one on the right, and a raider in the middle. You can split these however you want depending on who wants to take what, but if you're taking them all, taunt the tiebreaker on the left first and then the right one and then the raider. Tiebreakers can one shot DPS, raiders can't. Also face everything away from group. For the second pack, there's a bulwark on the left and right, and there's also shaman on the left. Taunt the right bulwark while the main tank takes the left and the shaman. The shaman also can summon totems if not killed fast enough. For the third pack, you will take the Bulwark and Shaman on the right, and the main tank will grab the left tiebreaker and stack it close by. For the fourth one, there's two raiders behind the shaman, you can chain while the other tank grabs them all or vice versa or you can split them. For Vrol, there are three adds, these will be spawning in the same location each time. Main tank will grab the bulwark and the apothecary and you will be grabbing the harpooner on the right and outrange him to pull him into a group to get cleaved. When you get the Storm Twin, the main tank can bash him if they don't need any help, but if not, you will be bashing it when it channels. At that point, you just wait for your group to kill. You can fam drive in the meantime if you have it.
after a roll, there are three infusers, one on the right, one on the left, and one in front of the tent. In this run, I grab the one on the right, and the other tank grab the one on the left first, and then the middle one. Then you guys will run into the tent and jump over this thing as you see. They should stack in front of the tent, sometimes they don't cooperate, but just do your best. For the second pack, there's a knight and three infusers. Main tank can grab the knight and two infusers kneeling while you grab the last one. The final one can be on the far right if you wait too long to pull. Once you have the final infuser, go behind the cart or to the left of it to stack it as you see here. Sometimes they will not cooperate, or even if you move like the slightest like bit off course, they will just not come, so just do your best. For the third pull, there's fewer infusers and one blood knight. Main tank will grab the knight and put him on the little hill. You will be grabbing all four infusers and running to the spot you will see in the video. Make sure you have a speed buff such as rapids or race against time. When you stand in a spot I show you, wait until you see them all stacking. Sometimes they don't stack perfectly, but they should be cleavable in line or close enough. For the final pack, there is a Bulwark on the left, Blood Knight in the back, near the Stormcaller, a Tidebreaker on the back right near the tree, a Raider on the right, and a Shaman on the left, but he'll come to where the card is near the pink arrow. Main tank will be grabbing the Blood Knight and Bulwark, and the rest is really up to you and them. If your tank wants to grab the Knight, Bulwark, Tidebreaker, and Shaman, then you'll be grabbing the Raider. If not, you can grab the Tidebreaker and Raider. You can also split these into sides, like you can grab the right side and the other tank grabs the left. And that's really it for the tanks in this pool. You don't really pull infusers, that's the healer's job, or a DPS can also slot taunt and help the healer to get the infusers on the right and left respectively. For the final boss, you don't do much until Lieutenant Dan comes. When he spawns, make sure to tank him at the wall where I am. And make sure you melee taunt him, or you can taunt him with a range taunt, but make sure it's at close range. When you see him readying his sword from his left hip, that's a heavy attack you need to block. If you see his sword over his right shoulder, that's the cleave that you need to dodge. If you don't dodge it, it will apply a very nasty dot on you that will most of the time get you killed even if both healers are healing you, so try to avoid it. Make sure to also not point this at the group because it will kill them. If you see him stab his sword in the ground, it's his kite mechanic. You can set it in block early or get out of it slightly, it's up to you. If his sword's in the air, just block. For Congo lines like any other VKA you've been to, you'll be at the end of the line to trigger the lightning. This occurs at 90% and 80% of the boss's health. On the second floor, there are a Blood, Crimson, and Bitter Knights. You can grab all three or split them with your main tank or they can grab them all, but make sure you kill the Crimson first. The Crimson Knight also has a tendency to not move, so you can stack the other two on him. When the boss comes back, main tank will hold him in the center as shown, and you will be guarding the main tank and sitting nearby or behind them. When his blood phase is over, make sure you grab the coagulant. 
When you rest someone, you'll be sent down to the third floor. If you have these blood spikes on you, make sure you don't move. They will deal a lot of your health the more you move, as you'll see in this clip. And also make sure to avoid the night projection, as that will kill you in one hit. After you do that, make sure you find the portal and come back to the second floor. On the final floor, your job is to grab the torturers and keep the maintained guarded. When the boss flies up in the air, he will shoot two blood balls out that will go in different direction. Those will show you where the torturers will be coming from. When you see the upper floor glow in red, that means they are going to be dropping soon and need to grab them fast. Tell your group to hold block and dodge heavies if you're slow at grabbing them or not sure where they will be at. They are basically like mini Lieutenant Dan's, but they only have his heavy attack, light attack, and teleport abilities. You will also get two torturers every time this phase happens, which will vary on your burn on how many phases you'll go through with a max of four times. And that is all for this guide. If you have any questions, please feel free to post them in the comments. I hope you all have a good day.